Hi, Alyssa Perry here with Breastfeeding Counselor. I'm your internationally board certified lactation consultant, and I'm here to talk today about supplemental nursing systems. So let's talk a little bit about what a supplemental nursing system is, why you might benefit from using it, and then I'm going to show you how to use it with your baby. All right, so first of all, a supplemental nursing system is basically a feeding tube that is used to feed your baby supplements, um, whether that is your own breast milk, donor milk, or formula. You're going to get something that looks like this. It's a, just a regular old feeding tube. This is a five French feeding tube, and this is going to be the key that you need. Uh, they do make some uh, actual permanent ones, which Medela makes, Lactaid makes. So there's a couple of brands out there. Um, those are going to be for longer term use. This is more for shorter term. It could be something that you just use temporarily, but it also could be a way for you to avoid using bottles. So why would you want to use this as opposed to just using a bottle? Well, I'm glad you asked that question because this can actually be beneficial so baby is not starting on a bottle. Baby does not learn how the fast flow of the bottle works and mm -hmm. Also, you're kind of killing two birds with one stone. You are getting the supplement in while baby is at the breast. This can in turn stimulate the breast even more, make baby more vigorous to feed at the breast. And a lot of times if you're trying to increase your milk supply, this will help. This is also for babies that are super sleepy that just need that little extra encouragement to get some more milk in while they're sleepy. Maybe they have a little bit of extra jaundice or something like that. So we're going to help them along the way. All right. So those are some examples of when you would need it. If you're increasing supply or if baby is super sleepy, those are pretty much the top two reasons. You could also do it if you're just trying to avoid a bottle and you have reason to supplement. Any reason to supplement at all. Um, all right. So you can actually use that in place of... Uh, topping off, of course, and that would be ideal as opposed to topping off with a bottle. So how do we actually use the supplemental nursing system? All right, so we've got our feeding tube. I've got my baby here, my um, doll baby, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what it looks like on the breast. So you'll actually take this feeding tube, and it's hard to get on camera, but there are actually two holes. One is about an inch in, one is just a couple of millimeters, few millimeters in. There's two holes on this particular feeding tube. One of the best ways to do it is to go ahead and have your uh, feeding tube inside of whatever your supplement is going to be. You can actually just drop it in to the bottle and you wanna make sure you have a good measurement of how much is in there so you know how much baby's getting. You can also secure it. Um, it does sometimes pinch little bit on there, but just secure it a little bit so that way if things topple over, you're going to be just fine. Um, but it may not be as long, so you can use it here and just kind of hold it wherever you need it. Now on the breast, you're going to go ahead and latch your baby onto the breast. Um, that's what I find to be the easiest. Some people will tape the actual feeding tube here onto the breast and go ahead and just tape it and let baby latch on that way. But sometimes it's hard to get the baby to latch on while there's something poking them and it pokes them in weird places. So easiest to go ahead and latch baby on. So I'm going to go ahead and sandwich the breast and uh, point the nipple up toward the nose. I'm gonna tickle that, wait for baby's nice wide open. The baby's gonna come onto the breast. Okay, so we got a nice good seal on the breast. Now I'm just gonna take the feeding tube and I'm going to slip it into the corner of the baby's mouth. And now I can tape it onto the breast to kind of hold it in place. And at that point, you'll wanna make sure that everything is, you have your feeding, um, your feeding tube down at the bottom of the bottle and the baby will siphon the milk out. Alternative to that is you can utilize a syringe and attach the syringe onto the end of uh, the actual feeding tube and push the milk through. 
Okay, so that's really all you need to know for utilizing a supplemental nursing system to help nurse your baby. Um, just remember when you're using these to clean them out really well, rush, push some water through them, and then you can kind of swing it a little bit through the air to get all the water out. Uh, don't blow it through, just really clean it out nicely and just get the air to kind of dry out as much as you can. And you can use these for a couple of days, but you wanna get a clean one after you've, you've used it for a few days. And um, if you are needing a supplemental nursing system for longer term, think about looking into, in the description box, one of the longer term use supplemental nursing systems. They actually make them to where they hang around your neck and it's pretty convenient. So you may try that if you're feeding twins, it's also a great, a tool to have as well if you're needing to supplement twins. So I hope that answers all your questions. If you do have any questions, please leave them in the comments below and I'd love to answer that for you. Make sure you're working with a lactation consultant, an internationally board certified lactation consultant if you're having complications and issues, especially if you are using a supplemental nursing system. It can be a little tricky and it's nice to have them walk you through how to use it in an in-home visit or a virtual visit. And they can also help answer any questions you have about weaning off of it. When is the right time to wean off of it? If you don't have a lactation consultant, you can reach out to my team below as well and we can get you set up for a virtual appointment or we can help you locate a lactation consultant in your area. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you like this video. Give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more information on breastfeeding and helping families reach their breastfeeding goals. Bye.